62 with some uh, Raider news. All right, you guys. We all seen what happened on that Black Friday game at the end of the game. Uh, Raiders versus the Chiefs. Now, I had to go back and look at that play. Um, so the referee comes over and the line judge first signals false start. Okay. Um, and then they change the play, the, the call to um, illegal shift. Um, so the first referee that that um, called the, the 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 penalty a false start, they should have asked him, "Did you mean to blow that whistle?" Because even Max Crosby came out and said that he heard a whistle. Um, AP came out and said he heard a whistle. Um, so if that was the case, if that was a false start. And that play, the next play, should have never happened. Now, this has been a problem, a huge problem with NFL refs throughout the years. Is their inconsistency on getting plays right. And and affecting ball games. Now, if you want to get rid of conspiracy theories in the NFL, I think the league should allow teams and coaches to interview referees. Because referees don't get suspended or fined or fired after after um, a game like players do. So um, you could go back to the Miami game a week ago. There was a bad call in that. So it's not just the Raider game, okay? But I'm just saying, if the first referee signal false start, go back and look at that play. That next play should have never happened. Get the play right, referees in the NFL. They need to fix that, plain and simple. It looks bad to the league.